Uh, Altar. Wait, yeah. sweet. I can just you can use my hand crossbow if you want. <laughs> just turn around. Give me your crossbow, old man. Yeah, I just throw it over my shoulder at you. Do you, then, do you then like say bolts and have that fucking come back? Oh no, it it's already loaded. Okay. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so, presumably he could fire it but not reload it. Altar is gonna do. Is gonna do a be overly fancy and spin around and shoot him. Actually, you can reload it with one hand. Yeah, whatever. Just I'm, curious. As I grab, it takes a while, though. Please, see, see this scene. I get this crossbow thrown at me. I turn around and shoot it at the orc. Go for it. Oh! Oh my god. Okay. Alright, so that's a raise. Oh man. I do find it funny that, like, even if you uh, got, like, a hundred on this, it would still just be a race. What yeah, does it I did that for my first couple of... I did that for my first couple of sessions, like, every raise gave a thing, and that did not Damage go well. Damage is, uh, 2d4. So, 2d4, 2D4 plus d6. And, okay, um, I'm just gonna roll it here. Yeah. Actually, you can totally reload a crossbow one-handed, because you, like, put it on the floor and uh, use your foot as the counter. I forget. I forget. Yeah, yeah but like I said, throw... it would... It would definitely take a while. Snake, dude, it, no, I mean, it's a hand uh, crossbow, so it's it damage the oh, it's, in the book. So oh, wait, it's guys, a guys, 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 guys. Damage, damage does explode. explode. Yeah, damage explodes. So, exclamation mark that. Yeah, I thought it was for a regular oh, crossbow. What the Shit. fuck? Wow. Oh, that's a dead orc. Yeah, that's oh, a dead orc. Oh, damn. Okay, Snake, let me put you a picture. I look at this and I shout to uh, a sidecar. Old man, crossbow. He throws me it. I grab it with my left hand. I turn around, and then I, as I turned around, I shoot the bow. Clean headshot. Yeah, yeah. the 360 orc, no I'm, scope. I'm gonna wreck on something. The orc didn't even have time to shout with that result. Oh my god! Like he was just his mouth just open. He was about to start yelling, and then just jerks back and fucking collapses on the ground. Does the dog still? Uh... Managed to bark before uh, Solaire. Like, yeah, it does. It's a bit shaken. Okay. It does, but basically that means that's a, not. That just means a dog's barking. That doesn't mean an orc is yelling. By the way, there's guys up here. Yeah. But let's roll a dog's spirit. <laughs> no, that dog is still shaken. I felt really bad about this. In about that this case, dog. I'll just walk up to the dog and club it with my um, flail. Are you going for lethal or non-lethal? Uh, hmm, what would Zachar do? That is the question. I Zachar feel like Zachar would, would probably kill it. Really? You think? Well, hmm. He doesn't like humans, I mean, but even people like don't like humans. It's not like he's an evil like guy, dogs. but... Yeah, but guys, we could have a pet my, dog. Yeah, my argument yeah. is that wouldn't Zachar be like, this would be the safer way? Because maybe yeah, the dog could wake up. And... Yeah, you're right. No, I, I'm going for lethal. Kill the dog. This Wait. is a telltale moment, and that was the evil choice. But yeah. practical. That was a pragmatic choice. So just roll fighting? No, no, yeah. guys, I'm a beast master. I can take this dog. <laughs> I feel like Zachar is pragmatic. Well, then again, he did decide to raise goblins, so maybe he wouldn't do that. Yeah, but yeah, time to get I actually don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'd say that was different yeah, circumstances, because that was a friendly... I'm yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm discussing his character as well. <laughs> hmm. You know what? We'll non-lethal it. Okay. That's fair. And, I mean, yeah. Alright, seven. That... What's a dog's parry? That hits a dog's parry. Dog's oh, parry is five. Okay, cool. Um, so I just roll damage? Yeah, that's not a raise. Six, and that knocks a dog out. That's a awful Bum. sentence. <laughs> yeah, so the dog just kind of like falls over to the floor, and you notice, like, basically bonk on the head, collapses over sideways, and you notice it's still breathing. Nice. Altar, I think we might have found you a pet. Oh, that's a good dog. Look, Kodo. Another pet. Good shot there, uh, Altar. Uh, thank you. Hey, old man, have, have it back there, fall back to crossbow. 
Yeah. I, Toto. I, hey, I want to look the, the orc over. Oh, can I um, get my bolt back? Yep. I do, it's just a d6 to, for that, right? D6. Um, it's just like a rule that, with good reason, you can recover any bolts fired, like under ammo. Uh, sure. Yeah. I thought it was. A, I thought. I swear. I oh no! It, it might have been actually yes. a check to get a D6 back. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it could always break, or you know, like it could uh, yeah. kip die a skull or something. Yeah. If it's important, arrows or quarrels can be recovered on a D6 roll of four or six. Okay. Yeah, I get my coral back. Presumably the issue is not like the time constraint, but like just you getting lucky and it not being broken or something. Yeah, it's not stopped. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. So yeah. Um what are you gonna do with the what are you gonna do with the corpse I'm, and the dog? Because you do I'm looking the orc over. Steps. Oh. I'll, I'll give you some I wanna this. Yeah, I want any information about the orc I can get in the like I I grab the lantern, I'm holding it up and I'm I wanna know if it has anything useful, and if I know anything about the clan the orc is from, and just anything like that. Okay. Roll a notice check. Should really make uh, little macros at the bottom. On the chest, there is a marking, but it is incredibly, incredibly crude. Now, what you do know about, like, Red Forest tribes are is that they are incredibly short-lived and very disparate and mostly just center around this the one giant who grabs a bunch of basically whatever lesser animals are about and forces them to work for him. Right. Um, you do also notice beneath the tattoo, beneath, like, the marking, is the name written in Orcish. And one thing you do know, actually make a smarts check about this. This is like a very obs like weird obscure bit of like orc kind of culture. Hey, hey, I know everything. You know everything. Orc names are not typically very long. In fact, the longer your name is, the less important you are, because they're basically in an orc tribe there can only be one ug. But like okay. ug, a gorf, gorf, or whatever the fuck, they like they just the longer the name gets, the less important. The orc is. Okay. And I wouldn't be able to read the name though, because I don't I don't speak or orcish or anything. Yeah, but you just notice the lettering that it's a very long name. Okay. This is an important orc. Well, it's, yeah, it's unimportant with a long name. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know what we do. Um, but yeah, like, this is a wide open barracks. There are mostly, like, straw beds and a few tables that are, like, with old, old papers littered around, and you can hear footsteps from the downstairs hallway. Uh, what kind of, just the last thing, what kind of weapon did the orc have? He had a very, very cheap, rusty scimitar. Okay, I'll just leave it there, then. Um, I don't know, I guess I just wait. Since hey, I put the lantern back where it was, and I go back to where I was standing. Okay, we'll just kind of like thing this because I'm assuming like it's coming up on like a few hours, and we'd want to stop soon. Mm -hmm. okay. So for now, it's like um, I could do another hour and a half, maybe. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put up too. At most, I wouldn't want to like if we can do it sooner than that, that'd be better. But I can I can do it for another hour now. Okay, well we'll keep going for now then. Yeah, because of that like. What do you do with the body, is my question. Oh. Bless you. Eat you. Eat it. Yeah, we eat, eat it. Body. Yep. Make a, no, make what about make eating a, a dog? God, no. I meant, the, I meant the orc. Jesus, oh, sweet. We can eat him. Well, we do have <laughs> goblins. But I don't, I don't think that's a good way to get rid of a corpse. In a, like a short time. This no, isn't. But... This isn't snatch. <laughs> I mean, it, this isn't like a school of piranha or anything. We can't just like get rid of it instantly. But uh, you uh, hear footsteps like they're at the far end of the hallway you just ran up from, but they are coming. Does it sound like a lot of footsteps? It's the little pitter patter of a group of goblins. What is the collective noun for goblins? Goblins? Uh, a murder of goblins. A murder of goblins. <laughs> murder of goblins. It's a murder of crows. 
a murder of goblins come out that uh, way. I look at Zakar and I ask him if, uh, should we just wait for them to come up and then kill them as they come up here? I nod. Uh, that's a good idea. So, I guess we set up for an ambush then. Uh, I give, uh, Altar my crossbow and my quarrels. Okay, okay. So, so it's a it's a mini crossbow. You can reload it and shoot in the same turn. So do you That's guys just that. trade crossbow and bow then? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. For now. I want the bow back. I like my bow. Yeah, I can't dual wield anymore. So you wait and you wait and you wait and then a group of goblins emerge. And they notice an unconscious dog and a dead orc, and they all just start shouting amongst themselves. I, I want to immediately cast uh, Frostbolt. Okay, so you can get the jump. Yeah, I want to hit. I want to hit three of them with a one power Frostbolt. So I'm spending uh, three. Okay. Okay. Yeah, three. I'm spending three. Uh, so, I only, I only, uh, do the, the aiming for one of them, right? I think it's split like, amongst them. Okay. Well, I know the damage is, but I didn't know if, like, the, me aiming it was for all three as well. I'm gonna have to check the wording on that. I don't remember off the top of my head. Do, 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 do. Okay, the character rolls a spellcasting die for each bolt and compares the target number separately. But it doesn't say anything about damage. I think you have to do independent damage as well. Okay. Yeah. I, I just remember that I got a raise on my spellcasting before, so I reduced the cost of that fog by one, because I wizard. So yeah. I just gave myself a thing. Okay, you spellcasting. One hit. No raise. I'm gonna... Yeah, okay. So I can just keep rolling it then? Mm hmm Okay, that's a free one. Yeah. And, okay, and another one. So, so I, I used two there. Yeah, so two hits, one hit with raise. Okay. These guys First are one. really cold reception. The one with the raise. I say... And third one. Okay, let me check a goblin stats. They are ice, ice trapping spell bolt. That's quite the question. You just iced them. <sighs> also, not a not a good one. Okay, none of them are dead. Chill all out. three of them are shaken. How many of them are there total? Um, there are eight. Okay, I wanna. I want to have hit the ones that were the like the last ones to come into the room. Like, the oh, ones okay. that are closest to this there. Yeah, okay, so... We got three Shaken Goblins right off the bat. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah, so I just basically move... Like, I move from where I was standing and point my staff at them and, like, three arcing bolts of frost come out of it. I'm giving a Benny to Zakar, but it's out of desperation, not out of the pun itself. <laughs> <laughs> Acceptable. It's just it's a bitty for determination. Yeah. So, unconscious dog, I'm not deleting that. We'll just put that put that down here. What are we good? Also, no, I don't think I can adopt this doggy. According to Beast. Oh, uh, let's see. Can I roll stealth for my goblins to ambush those goblins? Yeah, because they're more confused about the corpse right now, so you still have time to get them in position. Cool. You want me to roll stealth for that, or...? I don't want you to uh, lose no, any of your goblins. We care about them now. Welcome to Home <laughs> Snake. Why is it why is it that in every Savage World games you run someone gets pet NPCs? Because I like pet NPCs <laughs> as a concept. I do because too. because I'm taking all the leadership perks. I better have an army of something. <laughs> Goblin, you got the name. You need to knock a few of these out. You need to knock a few of these goblins out so you can recruit them. Oh my god, you're gonna be the MSF of fucking goblins. <laughs> That's what this castle is gonna be for. That's what this Why castle do you think is for. I want a base of operations. This oh my god, out, Snake! Outer, outer heaven. 
snake. This is awful. Another another MSF in your goddamn game. Hey, it doesn't have to be MSF. He can name it whatever he wants. <laughs> Even though I did try and get away with gang away from gang management because I royally fuck it up, but. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> it's easier with when you just like your gang is literally just mindless uh, masses of goblins. Yeah. Hey, hey. So now we got an well, overlord I mean, you know, situation. Maybe, they don't really have concerns other than me. Upgrade from goblins to like humans. So are you gonna roll stealth nope. on them? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, they get a wild dice because they're a group. You could still roll a wild dice, even though that's a pretty good fucking result. And I will roll notice for this group of goblins. Because there is a... <laughs> wow. Oh my god, no. The goblins are, like, carrying us. Alright, well, hang on. <laughs> These the guys... The fuckers around. These guys might... Might be fucking noticing... If these nope. fuckers, I'm impressed. They're such fuck-ups. <laughs> if these fuckers ever, ever turn on us... So, Snake, you realize that all of my goblin stealths have been really good, and all of my goblin notices have been shit. Yeah, I do. <laughs> they're sneaky, but they're it's not a... very good at using that stealth to really get, glean glasses. anything. We need to get them some glasses. <laughs> So, yeah, they're all just, like, look at- they hear, like, they see you guys, like, they look up, they notice you lot, because you just fired a bolt at them, but they hear, yeah. like, seven additional sets of footsteps in the darkness, and they're all just, like, <laughs> look around, like, what, what's that- what's, what is it? Wait, 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 can I just say that they fall from the rafters or something? Like, they fall from the ceiling, like, spiders or some shit? Yeah. <laughs> just, like, on top of the other goblins? Yeah, we can get away with that. Are you triggering the attack right now, or are you holding them in reserve? No, I'll hold them until all of them are on the floor. And I've also trained them to use the butt of their spears instead of the poking ends. So, you are actually going... Alright, so they get a minus one, because spears are a lethal <laughs> weapon, but... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, is it about games I run that invites this mentality? Do we need uh, initiative at this point? It's, uh, it's yes. 100% the Savage World system. Like, if <laughs> if there weren't the leadership perks, I wouldn't be going this way. Fair but the fact that it exists and it's an option? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Alright, so no, I'm going to have to get... Like, so Let's no get... matter what, you will always build an army. It's like... Let's get a friendly goblin. Oh, these all look like apes. Hi, 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 hi. None of these actually. You have that goblin token beneath me. Is that a goblin token? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we were using before. This one? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I've got to make. Now I've got to make seven, seven copies of that. <laughs> oh my god. I thought you were just going to use them as a group. Yeah, me too. I should actually do that, but then I'd have like eight. Fucking goblins going at once. Like, on their end as well. And that is what the Savage Worlds book tells me to do, but I prefer it like this, I suppose. Well, it, does, it does just mean that, like, the amount of damage they do, like, will kill a certain amount or whatever. So you can't oh, yeah, kind of... Yeah, look, that's perfect. That's I'm gonna friendly. do wow. Thor Fortress, except it's Goblin Fortress. You can actually do that in Masterwork. Exactly. I wonder if Masterwork's been updated to the current Dwarf Fortress. I think it's I think they don't support it anymore. Oh, you mean the mod authors don't do it anymore? Yeah, I don't think so. Are you Someone about might the have picked it up. Though. Game has the works. Right, so, no. Oh. Oh, because I'm. Think it's I'm... a it's a it's this ridiculous mod for Dwarf Fortress ah. that adds in like a ton of stuff. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna you know shake and free of these. As you do. As you do. Yeah, it hasn't been updated. Dwarf Fortress 34.11, is that? No, we're on like 41 something. Okay, doesn't matter anyway. Alright, so immediately one of them charges at Solaire. Like, just decides who's the biggest, angriest looking one. I should probably kill that first. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, damn. And with a short spear in hand, just charges. And... This turn, this turn order is massive. Does not do shit. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> oh, damn, okay. Right. Oh, uh, did, did um, it, it charge me, yeah? Yeah, it charged you and missed. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, first strike. Go for it. Um, hold on. Just kill this goblin before it gets to you. Alright, I need to roll my fighting. But do you really want to, them to kill them? Six, and my damage without a raise. Oh yeah, you hit that. Uh, yep. Goblins are a five on... Seven. Okay, it is immediately put in shaken, so... It just runs, and before it can even get in range, it's like the side of its head is struck with the broad side of your bastard sword. Smack. A so w- nice wet slap. So we're not killing goblins. <laughs> I oh, shrug. No. <laughs> just, uh, Kill we're, we're adding them to our army. That was that one. Was no, I, I turned to Altar and say, you know, kill a few for intimidation. I, I never agreed to this, but oh well. Okay. So next up is one of your goblins. Yeah, I think he leaps from the rafters and does like a down strike with the butt of his spear. Which spear. which goblin is this? It's important. Uh, probably fog. Yeah, he's always really over the top. Does he go for one of the goblins who are already shaken or one of the um, still standing? Uh, I think I've got him trained to go for one that's still standing. Okay. He knows how to separate the strong from the weak. Now, if you're doing a blunt attack with a spear, that is a minus one because it's a, technically a killing weapon. It doesn't really so go on like fighting? completely blunt. Yeah, fighting at a minus one. Does he get like a the drop bonus or anything? Oh yeah, because they're all in stealth, so that's a plus three technically. Plus four ah. for the drop, minus one for the blunt. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> fucking... Before this gets even more insane, let me just check something. Even though it's like to be... I... Does plus four to the drop also apply to the damage? I don't think so. I'm gonna check anyway. You look at these goblins. Um, yeah. It's plus four to attack and damage. Holy shit. So that's a plus four with a raise. Yeah. Oh, he rolled, rolled a nine. nine. That's still nice. actually one. Just, just enough. It's funny that he rolled a one, so I got a nine. That means that no matter what, as long as they hit and get a raise, they they kill. So yeah, one of them is immediately like conked out. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I, had I just might sound annoyed, but I'm actually really enjoying this, by the way. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I, I realized that I have fucked up in some capacity. Also, I, I <laughs> added a description for this, the general chat on Discord. Dungeons, Dungeons and Goblins. I was tempted to change the whole chat channel the server to that name, but nah. In Bully, wasn't the Dungeons and Dragons game called Goblins and Grottos? <laughs> Maybe it was? It's been a while. Instead of Gandalf leading an army of hobbits, he's leading an army of goblins. All of them with brain damage from being knocked out at some point. There's one in um, Space Age 13 also that's like uh, lawyers and clowns or something like that. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> but it's another play on D&D. So this goblin just runs into the foray. And like sees one that's injured and thinks that's an easy kill. I can get that one as he strikes at Alter Gallon. And as I the whore, you can you cannot defeat me. He cannot defeat you. No, he cannot. You say that. Why is that a plus three? Just subtract three from that result. Oh, because we're using the character sheet for the goblin, and I have a three in there. Oh yeah, shit. Okay. Well, yeah. That's so that's funny. a that's a free result, not a, yeah, not a six. And my uh... your parry your parry is definitely not as low as five. five. It's five. Yeah, so you're fine. 
Now it's a friendly goblin. And I'm going to say that they've now noticed one drop from the rafters. They now know they're in the rafters. Of course. So yeah. back to minus one. Cussings! 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 <laughs> yeah, they're, they're goblins. Jesus. They're not, they're not steel team six. Oh, wait, did you put... Was that still yeah, no, minus one? It's got that minus one, so it's still an eight. That's still an eight. Okay, yeah. If you look at the bottom of it, it's just minus one skill. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Oh, my God. Right, yeah, that's still... That's not a raise still, technically, because they're nine... Their parry is um five, so yeah. yeah. Oh <laughs> Jesus! Wow. Okay, was that on a was that on a goblin who was still like up and ready, or was that on an already yeah, shaken? No. They're they're all trained. So this was uh this was uh but but drops from the ceiling and cracks another one in the face. <laughs> okay. Holy shit! <laughs> Where does all of these goblins come goblins. from? It's another goblin stun. <laughs> Orlin at this point is like in battle ready mode and then he stops going for battle ready mode to like, what the fuck is happening mode? <laughs> what? Oh, there you go. He, he got he, uh, okay. yeah. his goblin misses. He just like body slams into the ground. Oh. That's, that's Bub. Bub's like the fat one. He just kind of Yeah. <laughs> Okay, He's on. the comedic relief of the group. You okay. say that, so I'm just gonna roll d6. He's the one with the heart. Sorry for that door slam, by the way. Okay, the wet, soggy floor gives way and he smashes through to the first floor. Oh, oh my god! god. Bob. <laughs> Bob. Holy shit, was that a fact, Goblin? Uh, roll a vigor check. He had too much, he had too much deer earlier. Yeah, he, su he survives. He's a, bit, he's a bit banged up, but he survives that drop. He's got a thick hide. My bump, bump, booty bump. That's how I imagine him speak. But he's out of the fight for all intents and purposes. <laughs> you okay down there, Bob? <laughs> I think he's okay. Uh, I guess I shoot ice at them. Um, yeah. I'm gonna really shoot short. same thing as before. I'm shooting at three of them, one power. Cool. First one, no yes. hit. Second hit. one, one hit, no raise. That's a hit. Okay, so I spent two there. Mm -hmm. Two hits and one raise. Wait, two hits? Well, two hits total, one of them is a raise. Oh, okay, yeah. Cool. I have five points left. Okay, so damage, damage, damage. Without raise and with raise. Oh. Okay, that's two dead These are lethal. Points. Yeah. I'm shooting at the... I'd say I'm shooting at the same ones I was before. So okay. the chicken ones. I'll take these two out of the running. Yeah. Alright, well, why is the dog still on the combat order? Go away. You're knocked unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, goblin turn. Alright. Frostbolt. 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 <laughs> Magic missile out of darkness. Magic missile. Magic oh, no, missile. Misses. Yeah, he doesn't go through the floor though. He just lands and like smacks the butt of his spear against the ground as like they part around him. And one goblin has to make a spirit check. He's about to get ahead of himself. Oh, I need to. Uh... Refresh or 20 drop it. Okay. He does not. He is confused. Now, in, you can still move, basically, if you're shaken. So he starts running for the stairs. Uh. Luckily, Bob is I... down there to inter intercept him. Okay. Perfectly planned. Um... <laughs> this is all planned all along. I have got. Go. <laughs> I am going to wild attack the um, shaken goblin in front of me. All right. Um, Plus two so... to attack, minus two to parry. Okay. Uh... Damn it! I had it for a second. Uh... Um. 
Jacobs. No, no way. Okay, um, well... Actually, wait, did I roll it right? Mm -hmm. um, I'll die, Kev was a six anyway, so. Why is it a nine? Plus... Yeah, yeah, I think I might have done something wrong there. Shall I do it again? No, I don't think there's I one D8 plus yeah. four. I'm just trying to look at the actual result. Three plus four. So that was an actual roll of a three. That was an actual result of a five. So you did hit him, just not with a raise. I'm not sure why you're getting a plus four. I will look at your sheet and try and work that out. Yeah, yeah, because... The uh... same thing was kind of happening with um, Eric's sheet, but that was in Dungeon World. And you... Yeah. No, you... okay, well, I've spotted the problem right away, and that's that you have D8 plus four on your core skills. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Uh... Okay, I just, I'll, I'll get it out. To a zero. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. But that's a uh, that's uh, still a me. hit, but that's a five, not a nine. Okay, cool. All right, so let's roll without a raise. Eight. Eight. That. All right, so that's the one you already hit. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's dead. You cleave it in fucking two. Nice. Got a split. I, I encourage this behavior, but I also shouldn't. I'm not going to do anything. Damn it. Alter Gallon. Yeah. I, I just want to note. I, I just want to interrupt this and note that I, for the same effort of me coming up with the backstory of the whole shape of the world and everything, I got the same Benny that Austin got for a shitty pun earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Alter Gallon. Not going to go along with this in capital. Basically, I'm just—he's going to jump up and kick a, one of the goblins in the face. Oh, and right. what's the roll for that again? That's like unarmed. Do you even have the unarmed skill? I don't think I have the unarmed skill. Never mind. What's the damage on a punch? Oh, unarmed, unarmed a isn't a skill. Unarmed is fighting. Yeah, it's just yeah. that your damage is just strength. Okay. Uh, yeah. Skills, fighting. Yeah, and it's a kick. Uh, Which, oh, it think... does connect, oh. but you're just going to oh. roll your strength. So who are you kicking before you announce the damage? This here, this one. Okay. He He's the ugliest one. I no. see. No, he looks the strongest. Jesus. Well, no, that's a dam that's a that oh, that's still yeah. a damage roll, so it's a five. Oh god damn it! I wanted that eleven. Um. So it's you know it's shaken, as it ought to be. Yeah, yeah. it's confused mostly. Yeah. You just like you just run up and you give it like a clean, like kick round the face. <laughs> It just doesn't know what to do with what just happened to it. It's processing the information. <laughs> Zaka. Alright, I'm just gonna cautiously walk up and bonk the still conscience one on the head with my flail. Or not. Well, there are a few that are still conscious, just two of them are shaken. <laughs> yeah. There's like three, yeah, re there's three remaining who are still up and going. Well, I meant the one who's not shaken. Ah, right, okay. I don't, I don't think you could Benny it. Way. You could Benny that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're we're like pretty well. close to the end of the session, and you guys have like four Bennies. That's true. I just re-roll, right? Uh-huh. Yep. That's right, okay. Five connects. Yeah. Unless I'm mistaken. Five. Yeah, I mean, you may as well have been every roll at this point. Throw them all out there. There's an eight. Oh, the parry is four, not five. What am I fucking saying? Well, that was the... So you're going for one that wasn't shaken. Yeah. Yeah. He is now shaken. No, I can be assured of. Now it's just the remaining ones of your goblin crew. Nice. So they're they're all just gonna fight away. Yeah. Now one of them is running down the stairs at this instant. This one here. Sorry, I'll give 
I'm looking for a marker that says stairwell. Well, by then, all of my goblins will get to go again. Wait, do cards get redrawn? Um, uh, every initiative cards do get yeah. redrawn, so, yeah. All right. Also, well, Bub is downstairs as well. Yeah, Bub's downstairs. Uh -oh. So, let's see. There's three goblins up, and I got three goblins to go, so I think I'll just they'll all split their attacks. Okay. So, let's so, see. so one, one chasing after the running one. Yeah, there's one attack, two attack, three attack. Two or hits, two hit. one miss. Alright, uh, one damage, two damage. Holy shit. Okay. God. So, oh wait, were those, did those factor in? Yeah, they did factor in that. Yep. So yeah, those were all hits, and those, so that's a bunch of unconscious goblins. Who did they hit? Um... We'll we'll just go in the in the turn order. So, miss hit the first one, miss the second one, hit the third one. So that's I guess ping I got the, the bottom ping two. Ping the two that were hit. The bottom two. Okay, so the ones going for the stairs is still going. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so I'll give them these. So you've got four unconscious goblins. Oh man, are we gonna round these up now? I'd like to point out that my goblins knocked them all unconscious. Like, we didn't really do anything. <laughs> oh, well, I, killed... Ridiculous. I mean, I killed two of them. So, yeah. I need, I need a list. Oh, Austin, do you have a list? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I see them. But you, if you do uh, bring them into the fold, they won't speak, a, they won't have a common language. That's true. That's, that's the problem. I'll see if any of them speak common. It's gonna have to be a, a B, A and B squad. MSF is gonna have like segregation and stuff. Okay, so yeah. just I've updated the turn order. I gave out new cards and wow. Okay, yeah, but like, you get a Joker against one goblin. Um. And he's like he's run, uh, he's running down the stairwell very very fast. I guess I fire a frostbolt as back. Do I get a bonus? Like what's the bonus from the Joker again? Plus two. Uh, I have to get my sheet back since I had to refresh. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a regular frostbolt. Okay. He's already shaking, right? Yeah. Okay, and spellcasting plus two. Uh, I'm gonna binny that. There we go. So it's a free one with a raise. No plus two and... damage. That is a dead goblin. How? So he's just like sprinting down the stairs, he's hit in the back by a jagged ice bolt and you just hear tumbling as he Frostball. crashes down the stairs. Frostball. And then like there's a few moments of silence and you then hear footsteps as what was the name of the goblin? Bub. Bub. As Bub yeah. walks up back up the stairs with a very confused expression on his face. I give him Bob a thumbs Bob. up. No, I give him a thumbs up, but okay, good try, Bub. Dinner time. Thumbs up. Bub's one of the ones who can't speak common either. Yeah. He says dinner time in goblin niche. Yes. So I look around and there's just like blood and bits of frost and four unconscious goblins and a dog just heaped around. <laughs> Walk into what, a bar. What did we just do? I have no idea. I put my flail on my back and I say that, my friends, was strategy. Uh, sure. It's a crossbow, by the way. There is still a giant outside. There's probably oh, yeah. more of these guys. Probably more orcs as well. I'm guessing we're taking the whole place then? Well, we have to find a scepter. Uh, I don't know, like, do we want to stop here, or...? That's up to you I guys. Can I can run the rest of this. I can run the rest of this. Like, 
another weekend. I could do that too. Like, I'd be okay with yeah, like uh, stopping in the middle of the thing. A cliffhanger. Mm. Will our heroes yeah. recruit these goblins? Will just, they defeat this giant? Sure. Can we just like simplify the recruitment role thing? Do any of them speak common? No. These right. uh, these people these goblins are entirely from the red forest and only speak orc and not even giant actually because the giant would most likely speak in orc as well. Yeah. All right, I just kill them. Damn, I, uh, that's cool. You're just executing them. Oh no. Well, they I assume they don't speak goblin, and my other goblins cannot communicate with them. Is, all right, yeah. well, you're giving up pretty goblins. fast. Like if you're. If you can't train, like, sentient goblins, how are you going to train the dog? That's Altar. Altar oh, is a yeah. Beastmaster. I, I, I don't know if Beastmaster allows me to have more than one. Well, it probably means that you can teach, at least teach your dog a few tricks. So, I mean, yeah. If Animals like, like your hero. If there's absolutely no way to, like, even slightly control these four without, like, because I can't communicate with them, it'd just be through intimidation. And fuck it. Unless you learn Orcish. How the hell do I learn Orcish? You get, like, a, a Orcish travel, traveler's guide with, like, key <laughs> Orcish ration. Where is the bathroom? How to order in Orcish restaurants. How to order a beer in Orcish. Yeah. <laughs> All they can do is fetch you beers. Granted, that probably fits you. That was a pretty good session. That's, session. that's yeah. a question for you. Yeah. I'll if it's like there, then. even slightly possible. Cool. Well, we're taking it's, XP. Um, it would take time. We'll actually talk about this after I stop recording.